Hey, he's not here. Coño, you sure? Little Gomemieta could be hiding in some tight places. No, he's... One million if you kill her. <coughs> Two million! Yard and cigarettes. But you couldn't find these out here. And Don loves me. He'll send this army to rape and murder every one of you fucking Monteros for this. I don't see no Anton. Or your true Yard and friends. You know. My papa gave me this blade when I was seven. Told me how to throw it, how to kill with it. <clears throat> you look just like him. Tell me, is there enough of him left to bury? <clears throat> but this blade doesn't really say Yara's might, does it? You took my land. You took my papa. And now it's time to give. No vemo Napoleon el pequeño. No like I remember it. You want to confess? Confess. Why are we here? You never even liked Tose. Why? He was an asshole. Why? He was weak. Me papa had a saying. God gives victory to the lions. Sounds religious. <laughs> Me papa love Jesus. He would always say, Jesus would make an amazing Yanni Presidente. Me and Tan always remember. Jesus was both the lion and the lamb. Rule with strength, but understand suffering. You believe that? After he was murdered, your grandmother and I were left to survive alone. She would always remind me of my father's obsession with that verse. She hated it. Why? Because he had it all wrong. Be the lion and the lamb? No. She would say, Anton, there are lions and there are lambs. Rule or be ruled. A Castillo must be a lion. For Yara is full of lambs. You don't talk about her. She was always strong, smart, powerful, but <laughs> a woman in Yara. And in those days, she had the wrong skin to lead. Me, Papa, was a lamb. Jose is a lamb. Hmm. You want to know why we're here? You are a lion. And we eat the fucking lambs. Here, you're a reporter now. Felicidades. Fuck yeah. This is Talia Benavides from Urban Garden. Coño, it's good enough. Take our stuff so we don't get shot. Let's change these clothes. Wait, aren't you... Silvia Balboa Garden City? Urban Garden? Can we move this along? 
Maria's waiting. Welcome, welcome, my beautiful foreign friend. Come now, Dr. Reyes. We don't want to be late. Neither do we. Let's get in there. I told Bicho to leave our weapons back here. I hope you're ready to fuck shit up. What? Oh! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm just a scientist. Bitches, leave! Pavuara! Get shooting! True Yarens, welcome. We have a special program for you today. Maria Puta Marquesa, Minister of Culture, Uncle Anton's personal whore. You're also director to the True Yaren Academy, no? Where you fry people's brains to make sure they play nice? Like you did to me, right, Maria? What? Mm, don't play dumb, bitch! Talia, put the gun down. She's not worth it. You... You attacked my home. You put your filth on my network. You have any idea the embarrassment I had to endure because of your disgusting performance? I have given everything I am to be here. You think you can take that away from me? My academy was built to save fake yarns like you and that muddy macho you spread your perversions with. But where is she? Does she not approve of you playing with guns? <laughs> Fuck. Come on, let's go! Let's go! What happened? Get the fuck out of here! Fuck. Hello? Mother is dead.
Adiós, Benítez. Ojo por ojo. ¡Viva la moral! No, por... Couldn't have done this without you, Danny. That's not a smart move. You should cut her down. Why? It's what that bitch deserves. You killed a soldier. Good for you. Except the thing about soldiers is there's always more of them. See, Mama. Same mistakes, new faces. You're just bitter because your revolution came and went and all you got was a fucking mountain. <laughs> Enjoy your trophy. Unitas is private stash. Huh? Salud. Enough with the pics. Victory Danny. I thought I was Bebe Tigre. Nah. Danny Roja will be bigger than El Tigre. You know why? Because your war will fucking end. Viva la moral! There's something about third world prisons. They make me hard. As you can see, Mr. McKay, everything is under control. Good old shakedown. I love it. Did they do it? Who the fuck cares? <laughs> the Admiral was a lamb. She did not have the stomach needed to deal with the terroristas. I would like you to consider expanding your operations. Look, you have Are you a legend? Open the cell. With respect, the President has a Open it! Did you fight with Santos Espinosa in the 67 Revolution? I drove a tank right through the doors of the Capitolio in the Battle of Esperanza. I was there when we took your grandfather. I watched him die. Why did you hate him? The only thing a Castillo has done for Yara is rape our land. And you will do the same thing now. You don't know that. I do! And if you loosen these chains, I will wrap my hands around your little throat and save Yara from another Castillo! Or you can do your country a favor and kill yourself. <laughs> we should have someone look at that mule. It's not mine. <laughs> Here. Danny, the situation has changed. Don't want to hear it right now, Juan. See, si, see, si, he's a skin tag on a weasel's asshole. Well. But we just made a deal. McKay is offering us a fuck ton of cash if we let him go. We're talking real dinero, Danny. No way Clara's good with this. I'll deal with Clara. You and I both know the real war starts the first minute Castillo dies. And you can't win that fight without cash. Trust me. We've been doing pretty good with bullets. Leave him alone and head back to the port. I'm on my way there now. It's time to celebrate. We won! <laughs> Adios, McKay. I know there are many who speak of the old revolution of 67 like a dream. That these murderers were heroes. They will destroy your future, just as they did my father's. When I look into your eyes, I see lions. Libertad. La moral. Murderers of 67. These are lies. The truth, they are all known by the same name. Terrorista. I have a vision to rebuild paradise. But these 
terroristas have made sure the cost of paradise will be blood. Let this be Yara's last revolution. Let us claim victory to the lions. You okay? Can you walk? Danny, that's twice now you volunteered for my experiments. You sick motherfucker! I've seen what the Viro is really doing! And I'm going to enjoy this a little too much. Not one for the day, Darwin. Did you know exposure to concentrated doses of PG-240 wreaks havoc on the body? Fuck you! I kill a lot faster than cancer! <coughs> I'm going to keep your brain and your heart. The rest I'm going to feed to my dogs. It's good for the bone. I'm going to kill you! That horrible feeling of experience. That is acute organ failure. Goodbye, Danny. You're fucking dead! Do you hear me? Not possible. <coughs> Not going to die here! So eager to please. I know the power. fucking dead! I you did. hear me? What is life to have? I'm not the finished my work! See you in hell. True. Yaras. These terrorist monsters that plague us, they have no vision for Yara. They simply want chaos. They... Hmm, they... Diego. See, si, Papa? They simply want chaos. It is off. You used that line already. Ah. You opened it? Si, sí, señor presidente. Hmm. It rings every hour, señor presidente. Hola, fascista. I recognize that voice. Mm. Did you like my present? You kill him. What a surprise, terrorista. And the intel recovered allowed us to hijack ten shipments of your precious bebido. Let me ask you a question, Miss Garcia. When I am dead and Yara is burning, what exactly is your plan? Hold hands, sing songs around the fire? Binga! Who told you, fascista? You call me Senor Presidente! <laughs> Start the camera. I'm ready to speak to my people. Papa. What? Uh, just up. Rolling, Senor Presidente. It is with great sadness I must announce the death of a true hero of paradise, Dr. Edgar Reyes. Not only the genius mind behind Viviro, but also a personal friend. 